Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Celtic career. It's me, Ryan 118, and today we move on to episode 3 as we close off the transfer window and we begin our journey in Europe. Let's see how far we can get in Europe, but we've got to start today against, I believe, Napoli. It's going to be a very difficult group to go through. There we go. We've got Napoli first uh, in our first match, then Benfica, which will be in another episode. But also today we've got games against Aberdeen, Hearts and Dundee. So that's a few big games. We've got Aberdeen, Hearts in the league, two of the main challengers for Celtic and also a European match. So it's not an easy episode. Also, we've got to try and finish up our business the transfer window because there's still a little bit of a crisis going on. We've tried to sign a new goalkeeper. We were meant to try and sign Darren Randolph. That fell through because of the wage they want, uh, he wanted and Arta Boric. Both of them wanted extortion amount of wages so we had to leave them uh, and hopefully we'll sign another goalkeeper today i'm inquiring about a few goalkeepers and if one comes through uh, that is a reasonable priced keeper or, or want a good amount of wages that is not too expensive then i'll let you know if i sign them also with the money we'll have left over we might look for another attacking player as one of the object objectives for the team was to uh, sign an attacking player that is crucial so uh, we're going to try and do that as well if we have any leftover money. But let's go in just now, guys, and get as close as we can to the Aberdeen game and see if anything comes back about these goalkeepers. So here we are, guys. The first game I've actually played away from home this season. It's going to be a difficult game. Aberdeen, one of the better teams in the league. So let's hope we can pick up a result. We did improve towards the end of the last episode. Let's hope we can carry it through into this episode. Here we go, this is a nice chance for us now. Here's Rashford. Oh, Rashford has managed to take it past one. Defender takes a shot! And it just curls wide. We could have slipped down to force some ends, I think. But I fancied the shot with Rashford. And to be honest, not too far away. Not the greatest of finishes, but could have been 1-0 there. For some ends, does a good job to win the ball there. And he slips it through for Rashford, who's kind of threw away here. He slips it down for Scott Sinclair. Could have passed it. I take the shot instead. It's a good save from the Aberdeen keeper. I really should have passed that one off again there, but tried to get the keeper while well. he was off his line. I see a keeper having to run back there. Very unlucky. We have a corner though. Can we do anything from it? We've been quite good from our corners. It's a good ball in from Patrick Roberts. Off for Zviachenko. And it's 1 0 to us here at Pitodri against Aberdeen. And we're up 1 0. Good start to the game. Sinclair. Oh, here we go. Marcus Rashford to make it two straight away. Another bad finish from Rashford. Not showing great strengths in this game. Could have been 2 0, just like that. Right, half time. Nothing much happening towards the end of the half there. We are still up 1 0. Maybe a bit more could be done. I'm going to make a tactical change. But looking okay. Still a bit shaky in aspects of the game. Oh, force some in, so a good interception. Griffiths, can he do anything with it? He gives it to Sinclair, and Sinclair has managed to slice the defence open. He's away, surely, for Sinclair to finish it. Oh, it's a great save from the keeper. Neil Alexander in goals for Aberdeen. That's one of those opportunities we once again should be scoring from. Can we score from another corner, though? A ball in, Sinclair's unmarked, and he smacks the bar. Should be 2-0. Sinclair with two golden opportunities in the space of seconds. Tom Rogic. Can he slice it through for Fossa Mensa? He does. It's a horrible shot from Fossa Mensa. And it's quite a big margin. Obviously, Fossa Mensa not the most clinical of finishers, but the first time shot, maybe he should have taken a touch. First time shot goes well wide, though. He needs to find a pass. He does find a pass for Griffiths, who sees Sinclair running through. Once again, Sinclair getting in behind the defence. Oh, good save. Had to take the shot because I thought the defender was going to catch up on him. A good save. Another corner. We have been great from corners. Can we continue that trend? Uh, it goes right over the top of everybody. But it comes for Christian Gamboa, who swings it in up the back for Sinclair. Too small to get to it. It's over. Lee Griffiths. Surely, can he get to that? No, he can't. Aberdeen clear it. Tackle from Christian Gamboa. He does stay on. I don't think he's booked, so... Not so bad from that. Oh, we've unmarked a man and Gordon comes out to punch it. Oh, a chance now for us. Can we maybe seal off the game here? It's a good chance. Slips it in for Griffiths. A good save. Griffiths really should be getting that in the back of the net. Although the ball was a little bit slow for Griffiths to wait for. Sinclair. Rogic. Will he take a shot? He does take a shot. It's not far wide from Tom Rogic. That looks nothing like Rogic. Jesus Christ. 
It's full time and narrow 1 0 win. It's a good victory though because Aberdeen are one of the tougher sides in the league. But I'm very happy with the performance. In fact, you look at the stats here, look at that. I think we did play pretty well. Aberdeen had a couple of chances. But a dominant performance. We are getting better. We just need more goals. And so we've had a couple of transfer offers accepted for a couple of goalkeepers I'm interested in. The first one, Simeon, uh, or Simon Scuffett, however you want to say his name is, um, has been accepted. He, I think, will be a bit better than the other uh, option that I've went in for, who was Jordan Pickford. So hopefully we can get him, but I feel like he's going to want a lot of money to join us. And as I said just there, the other goalkeeper is Jordan Pickford, a player who has probably got good potential, but I feel like we'll be lower down than what, uh, in overall, than what Simon Scuffy is just now. So we're going to offer contracts to them, see who wants to join us, see who doesn't want to join us, and hopefully we have a goalkeeper wrapped up soon. But we're coming in for deadline day now. Um... So hopefully we hear back soon. We're not going. I was trying to get Dragowski on some sort of transfer, but he's just moved to Fiorentina. He would have been my first option. Uh, we've got nine hours left, guys. I'm going to try and think of a striker we can sign and splash the rest of our money on. Uh, but we've had contract offer accepted from Pickford and declined from Scuffy or Scuffa. I don't know how you say his name right, so you're going to have to excuse that throughout the series if we end up getting him. I'm going to offer him 25 grand a week, actually fairly because I'm feeling generous because I really want to sign him over Pickford. If he doesn't accept it, then we will go in for Pickford. But I really would like to get Scuffa... Oh, I don't even know what his name is. I'm going to give up, I'm going to give up with the, the, the pronunciation of his name. So hopefully we'll hear through from that and then we're going to try and shortlist a few strikers. And there we go, it's been accepted. So we're going to say, uh, sign him. Probably shouldn't because I can't even pronounce his name. So for the rest of the series, what I'm going to refer to him as Scuffa... Or what should I go with? Scuffa or Scuffe? I don't know. We'll go with Scuffe because he's Italian. I'm guessing it's some sort of pronunciation like that. So we're going to make him our first team keeper. And that is one of the positions improved for this season. So I'm quite happy with how the team is looking. But the board still want me to sign a crucial first team striker. Now we've already got four strikers in this team. But they want me to sign someone and that will really help the manager overall get up. But at the same time, I would like to get a striker because Lee Griffiths has been anything but impressive uh, since using him. He's really done nothing. Rashford hasn't been great either. The other two are, are barely been able to play in barely because of his injury. And Chief G have just not played at all. So I might look at strikers. We'll see what happens. But the likelihood is we'll probably just keep this starting lineup for the rest of the season. But let's have a look at potential strikers I could sign. Okay, some news coming in that is quite big actually. Um, I made some transfer offers and such to get a few players in. First, Jordan Rhodes, who I offered 4.5 million for, uh, but he doesn't want to join the club. I'd have to offer him more wages. He seems like quite a realistic one, but these two, these two could go through potentially. Probably not Caleri now I think of it, because his wages are really expensive, but it was for 9 million and Lee Griffiths. And this one, quite a good one, Kelechi Hianacho. For 8 million and Lee Griffiths. Now, if I can somehow make this deal go through, I need to offer him quite a bit of money. I'm, and I'm, I imagine I would be ecstatic if we could have Hianacho and Marcus Rashford up front. I would also like to maybe sign this guy, Caleri. Uh, but the thing is, he is really, really uh, stingy and wants a lot of money. For his wages. So I don't think I'm going to get Kaleri. I would really like to get him. So I'm just going to stop pursuing him. Jordan Rhodes. I'm going to come back to it. If it seems impossible. To get Hianacho. But I do not mind losing Lee Griffiths. For uh, Kalucci Hianacho. I'm, uh, I mean I know. Griffiths is loved by our Celtic fans. And just like that. Uh, goodbye Lee Griffiths. And our final signing. Of the transfer window. A massive signing. Kalucci Hianacho. Has signed. For Celtic, Lee Griffiths is gone. We just got an achievement and everything. We completed a brand exposure objective. Here we go, again, email. Just wanted to thank you for helping the club reach one of its brand exposure goals. It was Celtic accomplish this season. We wanted to uh, elevate our profile by bringing up top talent to the club. And we wouldn't have done it without you. Right, brilliant. So we have got Coach Natural, Jordan Rhodes. You can piss off. We don't need you anymore. Up front this season, we have Kalichi Iheanacho and Marcus Rashford. Some call it the new Messi and Ronaldo of football. Rashford for Man United, Iheanacho for Man City, but now it's Iheanacho for Celtic and Rashford for Celtic. Maybe not Rashford for long, but for now, permanently, we have Kalichi Iheanacho. So just before the transfer window ends, guys, I'm going to quickly recap on what we've done in this transfer window. We spent... A massive £27.5 million. We broke our uh, transfer record 
twice, but technically once because we spent 12 million on Goretzka first or 13 million and then 8 million and he in actual, but the dearest Celtic player ever was Chris Sutton who was signed back in what, 2000 and something, 2001 or something like that for uh, 6 million pounds and we shattered that twice so 27 and a half million was spent, we only made 3 million, but who cares, that's transfer deadline day over and we have got our squad for the rest of the season so I've decided that because we have got a huge midweek match against Napoli as our first European game, I'm going to simulate this game against Hearts. Now usually as a, uh, Hearts is a team that I would play as it's one of the bigger games of the season, one of the bigger teams in the league. But because I want to play the Napoli game and I don't want this episode going on for too long, I've decided I'm going to just simulate this match against Hearts. Now this could go one of two ways because I'm going to play this resting team for this match. I've called it the rest for Europe tactic. This is a team I'm just going to play resting the team for this European match. Don't want to risk big players getting injured. So we're only playing a few of the big players. We've still got Sevillachenko in the park. We've got Goretzka and Rashford on there. Uh, but... Uh, it's only a few of them, the rest are players who are going to get their chances here and there but we're going to simulate this match against Hearts here hopefully we get the three points, we've got our new keeper in uh, Scuffy and goal so here we go, Celtic versus Hearts, hopefully we get the result, we really should be getting the result uh, Rashford starts us off very soon but Tony Watt, former Celtic player, he actually scored against Barcelona to win us the game against Barcelona a few years ago equalises for Hearts, so it's 1-0 the now gone into half time, Celtic won, Hearts won I hope we can get the three points here. I don't want to drop points simulating a match because it will make me kick myself for simming it. There we go. Rashford gets a second goal in the 72nd minute. Surely we should hold on to the win now. And we do. We get a 2-1 win against Hearts. Rashford getting two goals. I'm very happy with that result. So here we go, guys. Massive game. It's the start of our Champions League campaign. I feel like I'm going to be passed around like a joint in an Amsterdam nightclub. But... I'm going to do my best here. World class difficulty. Really should be turning it down. I'm not going to. I'm going to play the strongest team we possibly can. And that is the team you currently see on your screen right now. Hopefully, we can beat Napoli. I'm, I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever. <laughs> here we go. The Champions League has arrived at Celtic Park. Match day one against Napoli, you never walk alone as be enchanted by every single fan in the stadium, apart from the Napoli fans, of course. I'm going to take a far more defensive approach to this game to ensure we do not concede that seven goals. Hope for the best here. Let's go. Here we go. Christian Gamboa. No one making a run, waiting for Tierney to make that overlap, and he does. Tierney can he get a decent ball in? It's a ball deep. Can he actually reach it? He can! It's in the back of the net! We're up 1 0 against Napoli, lads! Kiwichi Inacho with a magnificent debut! He scores in the Champions League against Napoli for his debut. 10 minutes into the game, a fantastic cross from Kieran Tierney, and it is Celtic 1, Napoli 0. A great header going over the top of. Is it Pepe Reina have gotten goals, it is. It goes over the top of Pepe Reina. We are up 1-0 in 10 minutes now. It's defend for our lives. Who needs Lee Griffiths? We have got Kalicci and Acho, and it is Celtic 1, Napoli 0. No, 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 we're not conceding like this. Not like this, keep on a tackle. Oh, the defending was horrid there, and we really got a scare. Tried to put in a last minute tackle which was incredibly risky but Jose Carrion coming very close to equalising instantly for Napoli. Oh no. Oh great save! Scuffy! But the rebound falls right to Napoli. And just like that, 10 minutes later, Marlon... What's his first name again? It's not Marlon. Uh, something hamsick. Can't remember his first name. Uh, makes it 1-0 here at Celtic Park. Come on, lads, let's get back in the lead. Oh, here we go, Kalicci. He and Acho, can he find that pass? He does. The shot's blocked, though. Oh, and a horrible pass from Napoli. We should be taking this. It's a goal again from Kalicci and Acho. Two goals, a superb debut, a dream debut. I'm so happy right now. Kalicci and Acho, a horrible pass from Napoli right to Acho, missing the first shot. The rebound comes right to his feet on a silver platter for he and Acho. Really should have buried the first, but the second is in. That's all that matters. At Parkhead on Champions League match day one, it's Celtic two, Napoli one.
half time. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm having a party in the Champions League. They're having a party in the Champions League. Na 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 na. na. Roberts. Oh, he's done magnificent. Patrick Roberts. He sees out Ian Acho. It's a hat trick on his debut for Kaliji Ian Acho. What a play. What a play from us. A great ball in from Patrick Roberts. We are 3 1 up in the Champions League against Napoli right now. But look at that. What a goal. All it can be said. A great build up play. A great pass from Roberts. And Ian Acho is. What a signing. That's all I can say. What a signing. What a signing. Here we go, Marcus Rashford. Here we go, Marcus. On you go, son. Go yourself. He's went right through. He's cut through the Napoli defence. Marcus Rashford. It's 4-1. Oh, my goodness. What a game. Napoli have been a shambles. We are up 4-1. 4-1 against Napoli here in the Champions League. Talk about a magical night at Parkhead. This is a magical night. Oh no, oh shit, oh what a save from the new keeper Scuffy, that is why we signed you son, that is why we signed you, now we just need to defend this corner well, they've got some bit of height in here, look at that big cunt in the middle, no, 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 no. get away, oh, just wait for Napoli. Oh, here we go. Kalichi and the actual's away. What a run. What a run. What? Go. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. 5-1. 5-1. I'm out of here. See you later, lads. I'm out. See you. This is probably the greatest signing I have ever made in career mode history. Anyone watching right now, stop what you're doing in career mode. Sign Kalichi Ian Acho. It's 5-1. 4 on the debut of Kalichi and Acho. Talk about a game changer. Fuck Lee Griffiths. We don't need him. We've got Kalichi and Acho. Oh Christ, no, don't concede now, ah, oh, that was rank rotten defending, <laughs> and they pull one back, I think it's Milik that scores it, but at Celtic Park, it's still Celtic 5, Napoli 2, and there it is, the full time whistle, we struggled to beat Aberdeen in the last game, and we have just absolutely, and pardon my French, shagged Napoli, 5-2 at Parkhead in our first Champions League game. That man, Kalichi Iheanacho, possibly the greatest signing I will make in this whole series. Look at that. We weren't even the better stats-wise. But eight shots, eight in target. We were clinical, and that's what I want to see from the team. I wanted to bring in a striker who was clinical, and he scores four goals on his debut. I can't imagine we're ever going to top that this series, guys. Well... Until we maybe make the last 16. I hope we do make the last 16. But Kalichi and Nacho sent us a wee email here. Uh, hey boss, I value my role at the club. And I'm going to try my best to be out there all the time. So thanks for playing me so much. As, as well as he did. He's been here for one game. I don't think he should be complaining about me playing him enough. Or not playing him enough. But oh well. Uh, Mikael Lustig, he's not happy. He's not getting enough play time. We'll try and figure out something soon. I couldn't care at the minute. We're going to simulate this last game of the episode guys. Against Dundee. If we lose this, I really don't know what the fucking world's all about. Uh, but here we go, Dundee versus Celtic. We're away from home, we're playing our strongest side. After our midweek performance, we should be winning this game about 8-0, but Simon I have no power over how we perform. Hopefully we do get the win, though. We'll come up for half-time, it's 0-0. Jesus Christ. Uh, Dundee now, Celtic now. Chief G is coming on for Rashford here in the second half. We're still waiting on a goal. Come on, Jesus Christ. We're not going to draw with Dundee, are we? Oh, Sevierchenko gets a goal. Is it going to be a 1-0 win? All our simulations have been narrow wins, but it's still a win. And a fantastic result, because it keeps us at the top of the league by quite a margin. And I'm very happy with how today's episode went down, guys. We're quickly going to recap on how it went. Uh, so we played four games. We've done pretty well. All of them wins. We beat Aberdeen that we played. We beat Hearts in the simulation. We absolutely rattled Napoli. And we managed to beat Dundee. So that's it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we'll continue on with our Champions League journey. And uh, some more league games. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And from Ryan118, that's me. I'll see you all next time.